and welcome in a new video about our camper van conversion. We are converting a Volkswagen Crafter 2013 into a camper van where we are going to live full time in, so also in summer and winter. A few weeks ago I uploaded a photo where you could see we were using wool as our main installation in the walls. I got a lot lot of response on it some people loved it some people said it was like the worst thing you could ever do but we are confident that this is the best decision for our needs when we started our van build we did a lot of research of what insulation was gonna fit with our needs so it's not that we woke up one day and we were like oh let's turn our van into a sheep we really thought it through so in the floor and the roof we actually didn't use sheep wool we used king span we used 20 millimeters in the floor and two layers of 20 millimeters in the roof in the edges of the roof there's actually sheep wool because it's round you can't work with this product in a round or weird shaped places it's just too much work the 20 millimeter king span has a rd of 0.95 that's really high especially for a thin product like this really really good insulator so also, because you don't want to use a lot of height in your fan, it's perfect to use only 20 millimeters because this makes your floor a lot thinner than if you use like sheep wool on the floor. On top of the king span, we put a vapor barrier that only lets condensation out and doesn't allow it to come in because you're always going to have condensation in your van. Always. Because it's metal and it's just going to happen. And now it's time to start talking about the wool because... I got so much comments, I actually did even more research than I did before already and I actually wanted to do some tests. So I got water here, I even got a lighter. Here we got 80 millimeters of sheep wool and this is 40 millimeters of sheep wool because every corner, every centimeter actually of your van is different. Sometimes it's round, sometimes it's square. It's just all so differently. Because in the back of the van, I could only do one layer of 40 millimeters, but here in the front, I could easily put 80 and even a little bit more. So that is sometimes I ripped it apart and I put an extra layer on top of it. I actually made sure I covered every piece of metal in the van. The wool needs some space. If you are going to put the wool into your walls like this, it's not going to work as good as when you are having it a little bit like this. The guy from where I bought the, the wool actually told me if you press it all together it's not going to work better, it's just going to be more expensive. So that was actually really smart. If you have like little corners and edges, I was working with a stick and I was pressing it in. But don't press it too hard together because then it will just be like be pushed together and not work as well. There are a few things that are making the wool so nice to work with. But one of them is definitely that you can shape it in any shape you want and it still works perfectly. The other thing is that it regulates the condensation really well. The wool can actually carry 33% of its own weight in condensation without compromising on his insulation skills. That is why I have a little bit of water here. And I just want to show you how the wool reacts on the water. As you can see, this is how you put it in the wall. Let's dip it in the water really wet I could do now and now it's all in my socks I can take a little bit out and you can see it still doesn't lose his shape and it's really wet now <laughs> that's way too much that will not happen in your van so you can see even if I have a lot of water in it it doesn't lose his shape press it and it will just bounce back so as you can see it's actually dry again I'm really impressed because I put a lot of water on it so you should not expect that it's actually absorbing it that quickly. What the wool does is that it absorbs the water and once it can let go of the condensation it will let go of it slowly. So that makes sure that you will not need to worry about a little bit of condensation in your walls. And it just disappeared. It's just awesome. I'm actually really impressed. I didn't do this before I was filming. So that is about the water. Next to that it is insulating super nicely, it can handle condensation, it's also a really nice sound barrier. The moment I put in the wool insulation, I was so impressed by the way that the sound was in the van. It's so much nicer. And I'm not going to say it's like a perfect 
sound barrier because you're always going to hear the sounds of it's outside but just the, the noise in the van is really nice so the second test i'm going to do is the one with fire so that's the most excited one so i just like to show how it reacts on a normal flame because it's just nice to do i don't know if you're gonna learn anything from it it's just nice to do they say that the wool will only catch fire from 560 to 600 celsius um they also say that if you put a flame next to it the the wool will actually burn away from it it will not drip it will just burn away from it and smoke a little bit and that's it so that's why we're gonna try it this is not the wet wool huh just to be sure this is dry it flames one 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 second then it goes off and it just is smoking and let's see oh oh it's not hot at all you see it just makes my pan dirty it stinks man so you can see nothing happens so what they say is true it stinks it's good that we have a proper ventilation system in this fan Another thing that's really important is that the wool will not make any mold because mold is really bad for your health, like the same actually as if I was probably burning it now. So now I told you everything for the installation in the van. Now I'm going to tell you how we installed it in the van. For the floor and the kingspan, it's in between the wooden ribs, so it's nice and secured. In the wall, for the wool, I use mainly a staple gun to connect it to the walls. Some spots I use double tape and some also some wires just to make sure that it will not go down and it will stay in a place where it should be. But I think the staple gun actually did the most of it and will be helping the most. So for the roof and the floor we use the vapor barrier but for the wall you don't need a vapor barrier so we didn't do it. Uh, we also didn't put any ventilation strips. I talked to a lot of people that use wool insulation. They say there is no ventilation needed. Uh, we only put a layer of paint on the walls just to slow down the condensation process a little bit. But yeah, the wool can handle 33% of its own weight. So a little bit of condensation will not be a problem. I hope you enjoyed the video of me burning some wool and putting it into water and throwing some stuff around. Uh, if you did, Please like and subscribe on our channel. We will be uploading everything uh, about what we are doing in the van. From the electricity, to the plumbing, to the solar panel, to the, the bed frame. Everything will be on our channel. So please subscribe and don't miss out on anything. See you next time. Bye.